So how we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here and yes today is going to be our mining and Q&A video but I was next to the trader on the way home yesterday. Oh look at that, we'll sell that straight back to you. No we won't because we haven't got any room so we'll just read it Are for experience. Are you okay there? So well, I was I coming back here so on the bad. way back anyway and we had a reward trouble. to hand in so I thought we may as well come back here got a few things to quickly sell you we'll start the video like this before we go into the mining so I'm going to quickly sell you the rocket launcher parts and I'm also just going to sell you that because we do not need it that's only a level three it's not even worth repairing to sell that do that right oh, let's get damn the reward off you. Say about you, in the you 211 free okay. right that I one's don't. worth the most we'll sell that one straight back to you do you have any jobs um i don't want tier twos i want tier threes i've got a job for you okay you can definitely we'll senses. take that have you got anything worth buying some gunpowder Right, he's about to close. He's got nothing for Time sale. Over 20,000 dukes. That's not bad going at all. Right, let's get down to the mining. So how are we doing guys? And welcome, it's Kraken here. And today we're going to do a bit of a QA. and a uh, We've got a load of mining going on in the background, which I did uh, last night. So we've got an hour's worth of mining there. One day's worth that I've compressed into about 20 minutes or so. So we'll see how long we can fill out these questions for. I have just had a little listen to it and that auger is so, so annoying. So I'm going to try and find some music just to play in the background rather than the game sounds. I thought if I quietened it, quietened it down, it would sound all right, but it doesn't. It is horrendous. So I'm going to see what I can do, try and find some music or put something in the background. Um, right, let's get down to your questions. Uh, first one. Question number one then, uh, given the limited number of quest types clear, fetch, fetch and clear, what new mission types would you like to see in Alpha 20? Good question. Um, to my knowledge, there isn't going to be any new quest types being brought to Alpha 20. They haven't mentioned any, but they have said that there's going to be new ones in the future because there's going to be a full storyline being brought to Seven Days to Die. Uh, when they when they finish the game there's going to be a full storyline to the game so there are certain quests that we're going to have to do to complete that storyline so we might have to go and fix something or go and raid somewhere where there's bandits or something like that so not just the zombies so there's going to be certain things that we're going to have to do um, hopefully they bring in so hopefully they'll bring in something like having to try and clear a POI of a night time or maybe in a certain biome because the biome difficulties are all going to be changing. That's really going to change up the quest so maybe it's still going to be like a clear or a fetch or maybe a fix. They're going to put more limitations on how to do that in individual quests. So I hope that's definitely going to make it more difficult straight away. Especially if they do it in like the wasteland biome, which we know radiation is going to be a problem from Alpha 20. But yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how they bring that to the game. So yeah, good question though. Good question. Right, next question. Question number two. Uh, can we find gold, silver or diamonds whilst mining? If so, how? I've seen videos of people finding them. Right, okay. Now, I've actually loaded the game up because it feels very strange talking to a microphone, not actually doing something at the same time. So, I've actually brought up the game just so I can tell you exactly how to do that. It's actually in Art of Mining. So, if you find the book, Art of Mining 1, adds a small chance to mine rare gems from ores. So that is how people do it. You find that book and you have a small chance. In fact, it, during this mining, I actually find um, a little handful of, I think I've got some gold nuggets, some silver nuggets, and a few bits and bobs like that. So 
good stuff you can sell back to the trader or if you're going to use the diamond tip tool if you want to make that because I think that takes free diamonds so good way to find that uh, this question made me made me chuckle what is my favorite type of twinings tea now I was actually talking about this in the discord the other day the amount of edits I have to do to the videos where I've just needed a cup of tea after after a zombies just scared the living crap out of me um, I do drink twinings uh, English breakfast is my favorite brand of tea English breakfast is very nice but I do really like Twinings peppermint tea as well. I drink that a lot while I'm at work. But in the mornings, it's English breakfast every every day of the week. Why am Why am I worried about getting better digging tools when you've got a when you've got an auger? So use it. It's mainly just the pickaxe. I want a better pickaxe. I know I'm not going to be able to use steel tools in this series, but a decent pickaxe just helps you knock down the doors a little bit quicker when you're getting the zombie to come through. But Really, that's that's all I want. Really, it's just better pickaxe. It's not much to ask. It doesn't need to be steel. It's better than a level one, which is crazy. Since we've actually found a crucible, the one series that I could actually make a crucible at a low game stage, because of the nerd build, and I find a crucible this early in the game. With super cool making a very bad joke, which normally I'm the one making the bad jokes, but. I can produce steel in stereo now. Right, the next question was saying that I needed all the urban combat books to rent military fibers from those folding chairs. Now, I've just double checked this while I was in the game. Urban combat, if you get all of the books, it's silence have silencers have no damage penalty. Because if you put a silencer onto a gun, normally the damage comes down. But if you've completed the whole book series, of urban combat then it doesn't reduce that damage right okay it's in wasteland treasures if you complete all the wasteland treasures the perk if you complete all seven books the perk is you can then get it from those barrack chairs or and or military trucks so there we go though so we got to the bottom of that one it's wasteland treasures you need to complete every single one of those books and once you've done that, you can get it from those chairs and their trucks. There's a chance that you can get it from there. But um, I haven't completed those yet, so we're going to have to go and do a few more libraries. Because my my guy likes a good, a good read. A few people have actually asked me what map am I playing on for the Nerd series. It's a nitrogen map, uh, which I generated. I can... If you come and join my Discord, I can send you a link to download the map. So that's what you're going to need to do if you want to play on the same map as me. Right, super cool. When lockdown is over, which restaurant are you taking me for a steak dinner? I reckon you could have done the Cracker Book blindfolded. To be fair, we've done the Cracker Book a hell of a lot of times. It's, it's a really good POI and it has changed quite a number of times. Um, over the over the years that we've been playing the game, but um, which restaurant? I don't know yet. I'm sure we'll find one. Definitely find one. Could do with a could do with a good steak. Another one here. How not young are you, Grandad? Figured we're close to the same age. Well, I'm not going to say who you are, but I know you're 49, so I'm 14 years younger than you. So there you go another question here what made you decide to make youtube videos i'm not sure really i have a very good friend of mine who has had a youtube channel for years and is has done very well on it. he's not actually currently making videos at the moment but he has about 130,000 followers he's done very well he's been doing it for years and we we work together quite a bit of the time and he kind of egged me on a little bit to do it you know saying well you you, you make you play the game anyway so you may as well do the videos because super cool and i used to play the game quite a bit i i bullied him into to get in the game because he never thought much to it so i basically bullied in him into getting the game and then we started playing we were like well we may as well stream because it's no different to us just playing and chatting anyway. So we started streaming and doing a little bit. And then, yeah, it sort of grew from there, really. So I didn't wake up one day and decide, I know, 
I'm going to make YouTube videos. Um, it kind of just kind of just happened, really. And then we started building from there. So I've got another question here as well. Why do I start so many missions at once? I think it's just easier. So then you have a bunch of missions from the traders dotted around the map. So depending on what direction you want to go in, you can, you've already got it there because the trader doesn't open at four o'clock in the morning. It doesn't open till like 10 past six. So if you've then got to go to the trader, you've got to then wait till six o'clock just after six to be able to then go and get a quest. Whereas if you've already got them there, you can kind of map out your day a little bit and start at four o'clock or even start if you've got a, a mini bike or a motorcycle or any kind of vehicle. A lot of the time I will actually try and get to the quest for four o'clock in the morning. It's always slightly different when you do videos. I've said this a few times when you're making videos, when you're making content, it's starting your day at four o'clock somewhere. You would do maybe at a big POI, but it's quite nice to start back at your base or wait from where the last video left off. Because some people watch these back to back. I do notice a big spike at the weekends. Some people don't have chance to watch a video on a daily basis and I totally get that so they actually watch them back to back and catch up at the weekends so you don't you want the flow of the videos to carry on as you saw from the last video and I accidentally deleted the the wrong quest you can always go back and get rid of the quest and get another one like I, I had that uh, tier one we had already been through so there's no point to really going back for a tier one there's not going to be any good loot or anything in there you guys had already seen it I had only done it a few episodes ago there was no point so we can just delete it and then take another one and then accidentally delete that which was a, which was a bit of a mistake Apparently I used 14 lockpicks in the safe downstairs in the cracker book. There, there, there must be a bug. There's got to be an issue with the lockpicks sometimes. Sometimes you put them in they just instantly break and that just carries on going and going and going and it can be, it can be silly. So I think there is a bit of a bug with the lockpick. Yeah, I haven't specced into it, but 14 lockpicks, that's a... I went to the shop to get a book about turtles, hardbacks. Ask the shopkeeper. Yes, I replied. They also have little tiny heads. Thank you, Siri. I'm not quite sure why you... How you managed to get a book about turtles from me reading about lockpicks. Okay. Right, here's a good question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ooh, that's a good one. I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. No idea at all. In terms of YouTube, hopefully... I'd hope in five years that big enough to actually do the stream weekends I would really like to be big enough to do that that's 5,000 subscribers so I'd hope that we've got to 5,000 in five years time but yeah it's a very good question okay another question here will I stay on YouTube most probably yes uh, at the moment I stream on Twitch as well at the same time as I stream on YouTube but streaming is nice I don't I, I enjoy streaming because I enjoy joining in with you guys and getting to chat with all you guys and I do enjoy that I don't have the time though to stream as much as I would like but I do like the interaction that's why I, I do one of these games every 500 subs so I can play with you guys because I, I invite all you guys to come and play with me because it's sometimes nice just to put a voice to the names and you know all the guys in the discords and they're all really helpful as well with anybody else with any questions it's just nice to play with you guys it's a bit more relaxed it's a bit more fun so i do like to do that i would like to stream more often but unfortunately with my work i just don't really get the time not a good time where everybody else would be able to either watch and join in as well so that's why we try and make a bit an event every time we hit 500 so we're going to keep on doing that at least till 5,000 subs because it's just good fun just to get to join in with you guys will I stay on YouTube most probably I've seen that there was another platform released know, a year or two ago now and they grabbed some of the biggest uh, youtubers to come just to their platform and to my knowledge 
they all ended up after their contract coming back to YouTube. At the end of the day, that's where the people is. Seven Days to Die is a niche game. Um, it's not like Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or something like that. It's not. It's not a, that kind of game where you've got millions and millions of people playing. It is a very niche niche kind of game so at the end of the day you've got to go where the people are and that's youtube at the moment a uh, great question here if i could learn one thing what would it be probably to be able to shoot better because i'm terrible at shooting you guys all know this i'm absolutely horrendous when it comes to shooting so that's one thing i could learn i don't know whether i can learn that i'm probably not a good enough gamer for that but um yeah, if I could learn something, that's probably, probably what it would be. Have you ever considered doing collaborations, videos with other YouTubers? I watch Capo and Glock. Yeah, they did, um, they did quite a few videos when they were both racing to 100,000 subscribers. They actually did quite a good sort of flying video. It was a, like a race going from building to building using all the different vehicles, which I remember, which was, um, which was quite a good laugh. Um, I've done some collaborations. We did um, a PvP event with Primate, did a couple of those. Unfortunately, again, because of my work, I can't always join in with those events. They do them mostly on a Tuesday when I'm actually at work. So I can't always get to do them, which is a shame because they were, they were good fun. But um, we've got a PvP event on there. Uh, which is actually on the channel, which was a good laugh. Hopefully soon, if you're a budding new YouTuber out there or want to um, consider doing a collaboration, I did the video the other day with my base with one of my viewers as well, Nemesis. So again, that was a bit of a collaboration. Um, not that he has a YouTube channel, but actually just with another base design. So that was good, but yeah, I'm I'm open to, open to doing more collaborations with youtube it's always a little bit of give and take like somebody like capo or glock i'm sure they wouldn't want to do a collaboration when they're up at 100 plus thousand subscribers i think glock's on nearly a quarter of a million now i can offer anything to a youtuber of that size because nearly everybody who watches me probably already watches glock or a majority of them would so the only thing he would gain off me maybe would be a handful of subscribers so it kind of works like that you need to be of a similar size unless glock if you're watching this or capo if you're watching this if you would like to do a video i'd be more than happy to do a video with you so you know just get in touch drop me a drop me a dm any plans for other games in the future if so will they be survival games yes there is we were i was actually looking at um a few different games yesterday i was looking at uh, mist green hell forest medieval dynasty ark and what was the other one other one conan exiles obviously i've already played wrath i did do a live stream on the first episode and did promise i would continue that series on I have not got round to that yet, but it is still there ready to play. We got into the Nerd series, and to be honest, it's always a difficult one bringing other games to the channel because all I've mainly done is Seven Days to Die. I did bring another game, Overcrowd, to Overcrowded to the to the channel, which is the games that I used to kind of play. I used to play a lot of strategy games like Overcrowded is, like Theme Hospital and games like that back in the day and it's that kind of game and it fell flat on the channel and unfortunately the way the youtube algorithm works if your game doesn't do very well and you get a few videos that are just not being watched it can then start affecting your other games so you've got to be a little bit careful so at the moment seven days to die is doing really well and i'll continue playing that but maybe i'll mix it mix and match it up maybe i'll do as you well know, I post videos every weekday, so I try and do five a day, try and do a video every day before work. Maybe I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday as Seven Days to Die with whatever particular series I'm doing at the time, and then maybe bring in another one. But this is where you guys can actually come in. What games would you like to see that are similar, maybe, a, maybe like a survival type game? So. You guys tell me because I'm not currently playing any other game. So if there's any videos or any other games that you would like to see, then let me know. That'd be very interesting. 
put them in the comments down below. Right, so here we are back in the game. I think that's done the majority of the questions that I could see there. If I didn't get to your question, I apologise about that. Put that in the comment down below and I'll make sure I do that at the beginning of the next video. Also, talking about the beginning of the video, what we haven't actually done here was the game stage. So the game stage is now 75, so that was after the mining. So I thought I'd quickly whack that into the video. I know it's at the end, so tomorrow morning it will be exactly the same. But we did get a lot of resources. So just have a quick little look here. We got a hell of a lot of iron on the go. We got a lot of clay soil as well. That's why I dug out the bit down here. I can just about see it. That bit down there, that's where I'm going to build all my farm plots and make a bit of a an allotment down there. I've got 16 farm plots there ready to go. Need to get myself a little bit, little bit more rotten flesh. We've got not a lot of iron left, but we've put a lot of iron, sorry, lead. Got a lot of lead in here though, loads of clay soil in there and a load of brass to go. So we're going to have to start taking apart some more radiators and things like that. So we're not doing too bad. Loads of cement here and we've got a load more being made as we speak. There we go, no, just over a thousand in there. And we've got in here a load of gunpowder has been made and loads of gas because we used up all of the gas that I actually had yesterday with that auger. So we used up all of the gas that we had, so that's why I had to come back and dig up that while I was actually making some gas. And we've got a load of coffees being made as well because I used up every single coffee I had, so making up a load more of those. But there we go guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this episode. Any ideas on this, on this archway, I'm all ears, all big ears, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, something a little bit different. I We needed to do a day of mining to get our game stage up and to get us all the materials we needed to decide what we're actually going to do with our horde base which is just over here. We should be fine for this horde, but after that I think I'm going to potentially take over this POI here and make something totally different, because we always end up doing the same thing. So, maybe make something totally different. This house is coming along, I'd like to do another building episode on this very shortly, maybe just after the horde, but there we go guys. That's everything from me, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Hopefully we can get up to 200, 200? That'd be very nice. Get to 2,000 subscribers shortly and we can do another subscriber video. If you want to join in in any of those, make sure you join me on Discord or on Twitter. All the links for that are down below. So that's all from me, guys. Take it easy and I'll see you later.